Pacifical, straight from paradise. The Pacific is one of the world's richest fishing grounds. The fishery in these waters represents an economic value of billions of dollars. But most of that revenue has been going to the foreign countries whose fleets have been fishing here. And unsustainable and illegal fishing practices have put huge pressure on once seemingly inexhaustible tuna stocks. The Pacific Island countries may be small in landmass, but through their territorial waters, they control a vast section of the Pacific. In 2010, eight of these nations, united under the parties to the Nauru Agreement, decided to take more control of the fishery in their waters. By decreasing their dependency on fishing access fees and investing in the promotion of their own industry, this group of nations is aiming to increase their income from tuna. These so-called PNA countries will now also start marketing their own tuna, caught and canned in the Pacific through a brand named Pacifical. Pacifical is about the PNA countries taking more control of the fishery. We're no longer just small island states renting access to our fishery. We see now that we have a very big role to play in the global tuna industry. And we have a lot to benefit from in terms of dictating the terms under which fishing takes place in our waters. Combined, the waters of those PNA countries cover an area almost one and a half times the size of Europe, and 25% of the planet's tuna, and no less than half the global skipjack, is caught here. Fishing has been going on for a long time, and there is a race out there to fish the tuna. So I think it's about time that we take ownership of our tuna resource. It's important for our future generations, and it's important for our people, and it's important for uh, our economic development. Uh, so uh, this is why it's, it's very critical for us. Throughout the Pacific, tuna is an important source of food. And for most countries in the region, it's also the only major source of income. Pacifical aims to increase the involvement of local people in the industry, beginning with the processing on shore. I personally want to see all tuna caught in the Pacific processed in the Pacific. Ten years ago in Papua New Guinea, I think there was no employment at all. But now, in 2011, we have three processing plants. We now have 7,000 people working in those processing plants. And 90% of that are women. Over time, Pacific Islanders will also move into other areas of employment on land and at sea. But the Pacifical approach is not just about economic development. It's also about a more sustainable way of catching fish. Pacifical tuna is caught according to best environmental practice and can be fully traced from sea to shelf by customers. The heart of Pacifical is the sustainability factor. Part of Pacifical is achieving certification by the Marine Stewardship Council, which says to the consumer that this fish was caught according to very strict standards that are verifiable and traceable, which is something that's very important for us. For centuries, Pacific Islanders have been the custodians of the oceans that surround them. Pacifical aims to restore that relationship and show consumers tuna does not come from a can, but from the people of the Pacific. I hope this process will change the way we view ourselves, uh, no longer as uh, small island states, but as large ocean nations. It will put us uh, not only on the global map, but it will put us in the global market shelves. And it's a, it's a golden opportunity for us, and we need to get it right. Pacifical provides new hope for the people of the Pacific and for the tuna that swim in their waters. Pacifical, straight from paradise.